Brooke Trout, and Gemma. Looks like we have already scored. My mouth is watering thinking about it. So big. We don't mess around. We don't play, baby. Let's go, baby. This one's going back. Guys, I'm out here fishing last minute. Didn't really expect to record a video, but I just caught this freaking beauty of a trout. Oh my goodness. Freaking nice. Beauty holdover. Look at look at the colors on that thing. Oh my. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Sit down, Gemma. Sit down. Gemma was a bit cold, so I put the life jacket on her. Like I said, guys, I have the GoPro on. Was not at all. I was not at all expecting to film a video tonight. I was just come out to fish for fun threw the fish finder on. I really haven't done much fishing. Ended up with a freaking beautiful brook trout. I'm gonna fish for a little bit more because as you can see, it's still got a little bit of light. So yeah, it's a really impromptu setup I have here. I'm gonna show you it really quickly just so I can have something for the video. So I've got Gemma up front wrapped in a, <laughs> in a life jacket and I've got the fish finder down here. First time breaking that thing out in open water all season, and I caught a brookie, so I'm pretty freaking happy. Brook trout and Gemma. Would you look at that? Is that a thumbnail or what? Somewhere there? Is that a thumbnail? <laughs> look like such a goofball with that freaking vest on, kid. My goodness. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another mainstream adventure. Today, we're not on a stream, but we are on a tiny pond. I'm gonna leave the pond name disclosed because I love to fish here and don't wanna overpopulate it, but the object of today is to catch a lure on this locally made inline spinner. These are made by Everett Lures, or Chris Everett, a really awesome local dude that makes some beautiful lures. So I'm gonna see if I can't get a trout on one of, or this one specifically, this orange inline spinner. Stay tuned, hopefully we can get a catch and cook out of this. As you can see, we've also got Gemma out here looking awful sus, as always. Fish on. Woo. Gemma sit. Gemma, sit. Gemma, sit down. Beautiful trout. Oh, better not get out there. Oh, beautiful brown trout, guys. Get a measurement on them. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Buddy, chill. That is going to be a 13 incher, so we cannot keep him. Brown trout have to be 14, we're gonna let them go. Be nice if you could sit in the center of the boat. There we go, fish on. That's a good fish too. Holy, jumped him over the paddle. Freaking active. Get in here. That's a 14 incher all day. Awesome. On the Everett lure, the orange spinner bait, or inline spinner. Goodness. Looks like we have already scored. I've got just a beauty of a main brown trout. I'm gonna take this thing back and cook them up. I'm pretty excited. Stay tuned. Hey, Jim, sit up. Sit. Good girl, sit up. You're fine, sit up. Sit. <laughs> no, I can't get you to sit. Hey, Gemma, sit up, you're fine. Good girl, sit, good girl, sit up. Gemma, sit, you're fine. I want you to sit. Get up, get, good girl, good girl, there you go. I want you in the photo. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, Gemma, don't you agree? Don't you agree? Don't you agree? 
I said, Jim, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Don't you agree? Gentlemen, <laughs> don't you agree? I wish you could really sit in the center of the boat, though, so you're not throwing my back all off. Jim, don't you agree? Get out. Hop out. Good girl. Perfect. Good job. <laughs> I didn't say it's a free swim time, but that's okay. <sighs> Ooh. Leave my firewood alone. Hey, Gemma, get out of there. Leave my firewood alone. Go find your own stick.
Come on. I have chopsticks on the bag, but now, ouch. My eyes. This is a struggle and a half. Not quite like doing a steak. Oh, that is hot. Jeez, I'm... Oh, my goodness gracious, Chris. Okay guys, there we have it. And this is actually going to be my first time trying brown trout. Meat looks really good. It's a very soft, kind of a whiter meat than most trout. That hot sauce smells excellent. Get your Fowler Chipotle hot sauce in the link in the description, fowlersmakerymischief.com. Stuff is awesome. My mouth is watering thinking about it, so let's get to eating. Try the first bite. That's pretty good fish, Gemma. Delicious. Mmm, that hot sauce makes it really. This is a stock trout, so it's a little bit bland, but the hot sauce makes it good. Oh. Overall pretty good, but I think if I catch them in the future, I'll just let them go. It's like, a, like I said, just a very bland, bland trout flavor. I think I mentioned it when I was out on the pond, but I caught this trout, which is only like my third or maybe fourth brown trout on an Everett Lures. I'll put a picture of the lure and its name on the screen here. But yes, on that orange colored inline spinner and again that was made by chris everett he's a guy here in maine that makes lures you can check his website out also down in the description does some really nice work one thing that really stands out with his lures is each one of them have a barrel swivel already attached but yes everett lures go check them out awesome freaking dude appreciate your work man that fowler's chipotle too got the perfect little zing to it and it's really good on fish oh goodness i'm gonna catch on fire here <clears throat> bone in conclusion brown trout beautiful not as delicious as a brook trout the hot sauce is really what's making it i'm sure you could cook it a lot of different ways but just not that great of meat it is good it's definitely edible it's a good means of getting hot sauce into your mouth Yeah, I really just like the hot sauce. Be good in like a fish taco, I guess. I will also never be, or trying to attempt to cook fish on coals like that. That was a pretty, pretty big fail. I ended up getting all the fish out of the fire surprisingly and didn't burn it to a crisp, but 
I ended up having to make a uh, second fire just so I could get some more coals to continue the cook. But that's okay. You learn. Keep the coal cooking for the steak. Ooh, that just reminded me. Done with this. No, not done with fish. I love fishing. That brown trout made me extremely happy, but that just a nice marinated deer steak on the, ooh, Greg's got a marinade that I, he did for some elk that he cooked up for him and Zach in a video. Check that out. Boop. Some marinated deer steak with that marinade that he does. It sounds pretty good right now, and I am out of deer meat, I think. Maybe I have like an odd pack or something left, but I need to fill the freezer. You want to try a piece, Gemma? Here, you ready? I'm going to drop it. Oh. What do you think? Pretty decent. I had to tie her up. She's out here trying to chase stuff, and it's going to get dark soon, and I don't want to be chasing her through the woods. Oh, hot sauce has got my nose running. Thank you guys for watching another mainstream adventure. I know this was a shorter video, kind of simple too, just a hot sauce fish cook, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Hunting season is, I'm not sure by the time or when this will be posted, but the time of filming, we're less than a week away of residence day. So stay tuned for those videos. Hopefully I tag out. I did on residence day last year, but we won't get our hopes up too much. Oh, that was a bad idea. Rain in the tree. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.